one of the best ways to learn is to have a really difficult problem that you know takes up your time, you think about, you study, you, you know, you ponder on it. If something's easy, it's probably pretty easy to forget, but the most difficult problems are what will stay with you. What's helpful at the refinery is that rarely, if ever, are you going to attack that alone. You can really see that people want others to succeed. I'm Matt and I'm a process engineer. So as a process engineer, you're assigned multiple units, or we will group them into complexes sometimes, and that complex, you work closely with operations to ensure that the unit is optimized. It's problem solving, it's investigation, and then it's communication. Understanding what has changed, documenting that, and making sure that you have that conversation with the right people. In my typical day, I'd say there's a tremendous amount of variation, but what is consistent is I will arrive at the refinery and spend the first part of my day looking over what has occurred the previous, let's say, 12 to 24 hours. And so I'll look at temperatures, pressures, levels. I'll also take a look at uh, our key operating parameters and to see if any adjustments are required. And that's really in preparation for a meeting with my operating complex. We go through any adjustments that are necessary and just really put a plan together to have a successful day of, uh, for the complex. Uh, what's really nice about Valero is there's a fantastic mixture, I'd say, of autonomy and structure in terms of if you're looking to solve a problem, there's someone out there who's got some expertise that can help you. Uh, you really need to see a tremendous amount of teamwork in order to operate a refinery safely, efficiently. At lunchtime, fortunately, we have a gym at the refinery, which I really enjoy, so I'm able to spend my lunch at the gym. I'll play basketball with uh, several other Valero employees every Friday during our lunch break. To go out on a basketball court, really allows us to laugh and have fun and connect at a, in a different context than normal work. After lunch, I will head back to my office and it really depends on what the priorities are that day. I can meet with the uh, console technician and I'll often start by asking him if there's anything that he wants to talk to me about. That will usually lead us down a path of potentially more troubleshooting or discussing you know, how we can improve the unit. Uh, in the afternoon, as a process engineer, I could also go to the lab. You can actually go and see the physical samples, being able to uh, see it three-dimensionally, uh, possibly shake, see how it responds to different light uh, can be very helpful in troubleshooting and understanding how your unit is operating. I'm also a member of the emergency response team. I wanted to be trained, so if an incident ever did occur, I would know what to do. Uh, your respect for incidents grows tremendously, and the perspective of actually understanding what does a, a LPG fire look like and what does it feel like uh, helps you in making those decisions. Towards the end of my day, we'll say around 4 or 4.30, uh, I'll head back to my office and I make a plan for the next day. So I'll sit down, I'll set goals, and then I uh, will go home, which is uh, tremendous because uh, I go home to my wife and my two-year-old who uh, just love saying dada right now. So sometimes I'm even home before she wakes up. So those hours are very precious. So to be able to do that with my family, it's extremely important to me. I love to wake up and I love to come to work and I love to learn about something new and uh, the refining industry is uh, one of the best places to do it. And when you get in the field, you start to understand um, that what you were doing was you were looking at building blocks going on top of each other. Um, and you see how interconnected chemical engineering is. Um, it's something that uh, I love and something that I enjoy doing and will continue to enjoy doing.